Hey, Dr. Kelly here. That's my red light. If you're wondering what that is, I use all different kinds of red light therapy and I just wanted to balance the light in my office for just a little bit. So that's on. I have a few minutes and I wanted to do a video about mitochondria and healing at the level of the cell. So these are just a few of my thoughts. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. So happy healing. Hey, hey, welcome back. So, or welcome if you're new. I wanted to talk a little bit about healing at the level of the cell. So when you work with people long enough and you realize that deep healing, when you're going to have deep healing, it's going to have to be healing at the level of the cell. So all roads lead back to quantum biology, essentially, but it really is all about energy. So everything is always going to come back to energy. You can think about that in kind of a woo-woo way, but we're going to talk about it in, in, the, in cells. So energy in the cells. What actually makes our energy? So what makes energy in the cell? Mitochondria. Yes. What do your mitochondria need in order to function really well? So we can have really healthy mitochondria by doing a few things. Uh, diet and lifestyle kinds of things. So what does mitochondria need to be able to do its job? And remember at the end of the day, mitochondria is really about moving electrons. We are electrical beings first and foremost. So mitochondria in order to function well need a few things. So at a really basic level, we need oxygen. So it's going to take us back to the breath. So that's why we talk about breath work a lot and oxygen because breath is life. So we need oxygen. We need food. We could argue all day about what kind of food the mitochondria need. Um, we're not going to do that. The, the mitochondria need food. And um, I would argue that from a quantum perspective, that food is information. So we can use food as fuel. We can use food as medicine. We can use food as information and at the level of the cell, that is what I'm most interested in is what information is your body getting from the food that you are ingesting. So there are all kinds of things about that. Like, what are you actually absorbing when you're eating? Um, are you absorbing any of the nutrients from what you do eat? That kind of thing. But really, we're going to keep it basic. Oxygen, food, and sunlight. Right. You know, I'm not going to have a video without talking about the sunlight, right? So really getting, I don't know, I keep using the word fixing. That's not a great word, but really getting in alignment with your circadian rhythms or getting that on track is one of the best, very easiest ways to heal. I can't say that it's easy. It's simple. So these things are simple. Oxygen, food, and sunlight are very simple. Another very simple thing well, let me stick with circadian rhythms for a second. The circadian rhythm that I think is really crucial to get in line, especially with mental health, but really well being in general, is light and dark. So, respecting the light and dark cycles of a 24 hour day, getting up right before sunrise, if you're not already up, and getting outside. So, naked eyes to the skies. So no glasses or um, no sunglasses, no glasses. If you can, no contacts, you know, you do what you can, but you get out our skin and the retina of our eyes are how we get information. Sunlight is information. So there's code in sunlight that helps our body through the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the brain, which is considered the master clock. So that information is going to hit that master clock and help our body orient to the time of day, the, the season that we're in and in, in, in our environment. So it then leads to a series of other things that need to happen in the body. So popping outside as much as you possibly can and getting that natural sunlight movement. You don't actually have to see sunrise or have a great view of sunrise. And then of course, sunset is the decrescendo of that full spectrum of light. So getting out early morning light, being um, for mood and for focus, UVA light, which is a little later in the morning, it's still morning light, but it's a little bit later. So let's say you're really struggling with mood and focus. That's a great time to make sure that you get outside, even if it's just for a few minutes, 
consistency is better than longer periods randomly. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you can only go out for two minutes every single day, that's better than doing like 30 minutes only on Saturdays. Yeah. But you do what you can do. We start where we can start. So we're going to help our mitochondria out by fixing these circadian rhythms. We're going to start honoring the light and the dark, which means that we do some other things like eat before sunset, block any kind of artificial light after sunset, get outside during sunset too, but also, you know, just really respecting that. So at night getting good sleep, I wear blue blockers. Um, so <laughs> I wear blue blockers, but I don't know where they are at the moment. So I have my day blue blockers that are yellow and then I use orange right after sunset. And then right before bed, I put on my red, red before bed helps with melatonin. And then I'm super sleepy. So they usually, I don't usually last that long, um, with the red, there are all kinds of things that you can do to help your mitochondria. We can even talk about autophagy in another video because autophagy is really amazing. You already have it. Your cells already have the ability to clean themselves through autophagy. That's so cool and exciting. But the big thing is remember that the mitochondria, this whole thing is a process of moving electrons, right? So where do we get free electrons? Hmm, the earth's surface, right? Earthing. So being outside for that light, but also getting skin on the earth's surface. So walking around barefoot, it can be dirt. It can be cement. It can be, you know, however you can get, get in your earthing. That's what you want to do. If it's freezing where you are, you're going to be doing a lot less just real quick. But if it is warmer out, then you can spend longer time outside. If you are running outside and you still have on your shoes, put your hands down. It's just skin, skin on earth's surface. So that's going to be better than nothing. But that is how we absorb free electrons through our skin. Um, the free electrons in the earth's surface. So earthing is huge for helping us in our healing. Um, it helps. It just helps with so many things. Um, and it's almost instantaneous. That's what I wanted to say. So earthing the benefits of earthing, and I'm always posting about that. So we can, we can, we can, um, you can look at some of those other posts, um, on Instagram. I have some posts about earthing. I'm always talking about earthing. My feet are always in my Instagram posts because I'm always talking about earthing and the benefits of that. I do think starting with sunrise was really probably the most crucial thing for me. And then learning how to do some other things to really fix my, be in alignment with my circadian rhythms and getting out during sunset is a little more challenging for me because I will work, 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 work. And so I have to really kind of put some boundaries there and make sure that I'm outside during sunset. Um, and so I would start there right? So breath and then so because of oxygen. And then most people like to start with the food, but I think it's better to start with the sunlight, um, the sunshine and the information from the sunlight. So hopefully that's helpful because all healing, we're going to end up talking eventually about healing at the level of the cell. So, and it's always going to come back to energy. So ATP, making the ATP in the cell. That's the mitochondria's job. So hopefully this information is helpful to you. Uh, if I can be of any help to any of you, please let me know and check out my website, nourishsoul.com, nourish-soul.com. If um, I, I try to put more information up there, and then again, I'm always posting information on Instagram if you want to follow me there. So I hope to connect with all of you. Happy healing.